Welcome again. Today we look at some special tips for this year's IB Chemistry exam. It's really important to know what to expect on the examination days. You will be completing the multiple choice examination first. Paper 1, which is 40 multiple choice questions for HL lasting 1 hour and 30 multiple choice questions for SL lasting 45 minutes. Then, after a short break, you would move into paper 2. And HL students have 2 hours and 15 minutes to answer all questions on this paper. The total number of marks on this paper is 95. SL students, you have 1 hour and 15 minutes, but you too must answer all questions for a total of 50 marks. After that, your examinations would be completed for the day. And after a night's rest, you would return in the AM in the morning on Friday the 12th to complete the all-important Paper 3. And Paper 3 is sometimes referred to as the option paper. But it's important to know that all students must complete the mandatory Section A. And then you must move on to answer all questions on a single option. HL students have 1 hour and 15 minutes to complete this, and SL students have one hour. But how do you prepare for these examination days in the most clinical and efficient way possible? One approach uses the multiple choice exams. And there are only three exams that have been made by the IBO for the current syllabus. The specimen exam, the May 2016 exam, and the November 2016 exam. It's important to complete the 90 questions if you're SL or the 120 questions if you're HL and as you complete these questions, to make notes on each topic. Take, for example, this question number two from the specimen examination. It deals with the topic of stoichiometry. As you complete this topic, you would realize that if you can answer all of the questions in all of the papers on this topic, that it's a sign that you are quite strong with this particular topic. As you move through the paper, you will see other topics coming up in sequence. By the time you get to number 13, the topic of bonding is being tested. By number 17, energetics and thermochemistry is being assessed. Number 27, acids and bases. As you work through each question, make notes and also take a special note about the ones that you cannot get correct. For these, raise the red flag on the topics that you are weak in and the areas that you must target or study. By the time you get to question 35, you would see that you have reached the end of the subject content with topics 10 and topic 20. But how do you know exactly what you're supposed to study for this chemistry exam? And the document that tells you what you will be assessed on is the chemistry guide for first exams in 2016. As you use this document, just by reading the understandings. You can learn a lot and you will surely know many of these understandings by now. But you should focus first on the ones you don't know. Then spend even more time writing detailed notes on the applications and skills. For the understandings are actually subsumed within each application and skill. And once you focus your energy on this, most of these understandings will be automatically covered. So focus your attention on this section of the guide, Applications and Skills. Make notes on all of these, and also pay attention to the notes for guidance given by the IBO. For this is where your focus must be in the days leading up to the exams. Also note that numerical problems and calculations in chemistry are quite heavily weighted. And although full credit could be given for the correct final answer, if you don't arrive at the correct final answer, then to get good credit, it's important that you show all work.